What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. I hope you're well, and I hope you've been enjoying the New York content that I was able to vlog whilst I was out there. They were quite travelly vlogs, but I'm back in the UK, so welcome back to London. And I am back in the Lamborghini because today is a very exciting day. Yesterday I was with Sam filming with his Vauxhall Corsa VXR, and that content's coming live tomorrow. And today I'm heading to SB Race Engineering. The exhaust system was scheduled to go on today and it was going to be a two to three day job because the engine has to come out. However, SB Race Engineering have got so many cool cars in at the moment that it's been pushed back slightly to Friday. So what I'm going to do today is head over there, unbox the exhaust system, show you all of the different components to the system, show you the Armitrix application that I can get on my phone which is gonna link up to the system and be completely remote control and talk you through some of the really cool bits. I'm also gonna do some revs with this car with the stock system on so that we have those library style videos so that when the exhaust system comes on, we can make the comparison video. So we find ourselves in the SB Race Engineering Parts Department, and as you can see, this is just a selection of some of the components that is gonna make up my full Armitrix exhaust system. As you can see, this cross pipe titanium is very similar design to that of the one that I had on the R8, and these are gonna be also fitted to the side, something like that, or maybe like that but on the other side. And then, oh, we put that down carefully. And we've got the decap pipes here and also the manifolds that are gonna be fitted onto the car as well. And I have gone for the matte black exhaust tips, which look incredible. And I can't wait to see what they look like on the car. They get bolted onto the rear bumper, which is gonna look unbelievable. And then here we get the classic remote control system plug and play which plugs into the car's ODB comes up with the cool little light there it is very very simple and massively improves the fitting time we've got the standard remotes here but you can also use the application and I've got an army tricks um, metal sticky badge here thing that I had on my R8 when I took it to Monaco so this obviously isn't the full exhaust system down there we've also got other stuff in here which I haven't got out 
I think we've got other bits like that. Oh, oh, the other, this is the other header. These headers, which are this section, are relatively heavy because they're made from stainless steel and then they have been ceramic coated. So these manifolds get connected to the decap pipe which is going to sit here and then that fits onto the cross pipe back box and muffler. These are the first and last headers that Army Tricks are going to make and I can't believe that they're going on my Lamborghini. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Um, so this is, I suppose, um, the first little sneak preview of what is going to be fitted onto my car. And as you can see, this is going to be a huge project and take two to three days to fit and make sure everything is working perfectly. Um, so the engine has to come out. I'm not sure what process is going to be involved in terms of getting the engine out and then fitting the exhaust. I'm going to film it all, but hopefully this gives you a sort of a a teaser of what's to come. And of course, this is titanium, so it's very, very light when I can do that. Whereas the stock system, if it's anything like the Audi R8, is incredibly heavy and needs two people to pick it up. So the weight saving that's gonna happen with this car, also the much more free flowing way that this exhaust system is going to run is gonna massively improve my car's sound and performance, but also the weight loss. So I just cannot wait for this to be started. It is gonna sound mental. And lastly, let's check out the all important Army Tricks mobile phone app. You get all of these different selections of things that you can track when you are connected and your car is on. Stuff like O2 sensors, average fuel, exhaust temperature, air temperature, and then up at the top we've got speed, oil temperature, fuel pressure, all sorts of really cool things that make this exhaust system unique and I just can't wait for it to be fitted. So I've just realized that clip of us revving outside SB Race Engineering is the first time that this car has actually been revved on my YouTube channel, I think. And I picked this car up on the 2nd of September, so that's bad of me, so I apologize for not doing any revs before then. This is now the end of the video, so I hope you've enjoyed the bit of a sneak, pre sneak peek teaser of the full army trick system that is gonna be getting put onto my car, installed onto this car, and I'm gonna call it Project Army Tricks. And it's gonna happen on Friday, go over the weekend and be finished at some point next week. So rather than film every day, and if I'm not doing anything, trying to make a video, I'm only gonna be filming the interesting and exciting days, which is pretty much every single day leading up to Monaco. I'm gonna be doing a full announcement of Monaco with all of the plans and stuff in a separate video, but that is it. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Vauxhall Corsa VXR versus a Lamborghini video that is coming at 7 p.m. to the Supercars of London YouTube channel. Cheers, guys. Check this out. This is seriously cool. What a cool colour. Cars look so much better with no front number plate as well. What an insane colour. And there's a Hummer there, but this is amazing.